Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today is quick and easy meals. Guys, today I have for you a, I'm going to be making a cream cheese flan or flan, however you pronounce it. That's the way I pronounce it. Um, so you could do it with just the egg, the condensed milk, the evaporated milk, and your vanilla, and you're going to need sugar for your caramel. So that's what I'm going to do now. And of course, you're going to need your pan, and you're going to be needing a square pan to put it in uh, water to bake. I'll show you how to do that. And let's start by adding one cup of um, sugar, granulated sugar. We're going to melt that sugar without letting it get burned but I'm going to add a little bit of water, just a little bit. So like that, I could just melt it. Um, and I added hot water. So we're just going to um, melt that sugar and make our caramel. This is what we're going to put on the bottom of our pot here, okay? So while that's happening there, I have that on a low fire. I'm going to um, put my spoon. I don't want it to stick to my counter. So I have my sugar on low fire. So I'm going to let, let it melt. So you could do it in, either in this machine or you could do it in your blender. I like doing mine on my blender. So I'm going to be adding on my blender uh cream cheese it's okay if your cream cheese um is not room temperature you can always put it in the microwave for a couple of seconds and warm it up don't melt it just warm it up and guys like i say this is quick and easy meal this is hosted by the grace life diy home decor myself deborah cabasa home living and jean home decor and more so guys i'm going to put my cream cheese in the microwave for i'm going to start with 10 seconds at a time and then i bring you guys back all right guys i added my cream cheese on the blender with one egg I want to start um, low just to uh, blend it. So let's do that. Let's do uh, just to. Uh, want the cream cheese to be mixed so I'm going to, so that's okay okay so with that gotta make sure that your sugar don't burn okay guys you want it to turn to caramel and if you want it to be caramel faster you could just not add a little bit of water but I did add a little bit of water so it will start uh, caramelizing soon. So, okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my, the rest of my eggs. I got six eggs, one cream cheese. You, guys, I forgot to open my milk. Let me do that, guys. I'm sorry, I apologize. Meanwhile, I gotta check my um, sugar. And also preheat your oven at 350 degrees because this have to go in the oven while the oven is hot, okay guys? I had to change my pan over here because I guess this was not high enough and you need to uh, make that caramel to see how it got clumped, but you gotta work on that and break it down and melt it into it all melted, guys. You don't wanna have no clumps in there. Or if you want, you could buy the caramel that they sell already in the pouch. I don't like that caramel because honestly, guys, that caramel tastes like it's burned. So you'd be better off at home making it patiently. Just be careful, guys, that you guys don't get burned with this caramel because if you do, that's going to leave a mark. 
I'm telling you, it's going to leave a mark. So make sure that you you constantly uh, stir it. You don't want it to burn on you. Like I said, you don't want nothing to taste like burn. So you got to constantly stir it until all the sugar melts. Even if it's not a melt and you see little clumps, try to just move them around and it will melt. Just don't let your caramel burn. So now I'm going to turn it down because it's already hot. So now I'm just working on this little, a little a clump. And I don't know if I mentioned, this is a hostel with the Grace Life DIY home decor, gin home decor and more. And myself, Zebra Cabasa. Now, guys, that this is melted. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn off the stove. And you're going to um, transfer your sugar to your mold. Just pour it in there carefully that you don't get burned. Trying to get it all in there. Okay, and meanwhile, take this pan and put water on it like that doesn't, it doesn't get hot on you. So before your uh, caramel gets hard, just take it, make sure you don't get burned, and swerve, swerve it around. You want to get it all over the edge because that's um, what's going to help you for your uh, plan and also it's going to help you when it's time to take it out of the mold. So it's going to get uh, um, hard slowly. All right, you want it to look like this, like this. See the size of it? It's nice and coated, still soft. So that's gonna, um, you're going to leave that in there. That's going to get, um, so um, it's gonna get hard and crystallized. Meanwhile, I added my eggs. My eggs. Um, I don't know. Can you guys see what I'm doing? No, I'm sorry. Let me let me hold on. Let me move you guys. All right. Meanwhile, I added my eggs. I'm going to add my one can of. Evaporated milk. You want to add that in there? And you're going to add your can of sweet condensed milk. Okay. Add it all in there, guys. And you're going to add, I believe this is the two tablespoons of vanilla. You could add vanilla of your choice. And what we're going to do, we're just going to blend. I'm going to start. And low, where's the low? Here we go. Okay. You want everything to get mixed really good? I think that should do it. Yep, that should do it. Now, we like it nice and to be a little bit stiff. So, I'm going, this is optional. You don't have to. I'm going to take my 
cornstarch and I'm going to add just a little bit, okay? That's just my thing that I do because I like mine to be nice and stiff a little bit. So I will mix that and high. And that's it, guys. That's it. <laughs> Some people pass pass it through the calendar, but I don't bother with that because I have been doing this for so long and. People do it because they want to eliminate bubbles and, you know, once uh, this is start baking, there's not going to be any bubbles. Oh, ooh, that was hot. That was still hot. My word. Anyways. <laughs> Putting it and I take that out of my way again. So guys, come and join us. And by the way, guys, I wanted to mention there's a lot of um, open collaboration, new collaborations coming this month. So guys, check out Anna, the Grace Life DIY Home Decor channel so you guys can join us. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hold my glove. Put that there and add your mix okay guys perfect remember I'm using six eggs one block of cream cheese one can of condensed milk one can of evaporated milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, and the cornstarch is your option. I don't use regular flour because the cornstarch and the regular flour don't have the same consistency. So now what you're going to do, you're going to cover it. Ooh. Wow. I have the perfect amount. Thank goodness. And I didn't check. I usually check before I need to use my stuff. So you're going to cover it. You're going to cover it really good, guys. Make sure you cover it nice and tight. You know, I did a cheesecake. I did it a New York style cheesecake. I will link it in the above um, card for you guys to uh, check it out. Um, and let me tell you guys, I haven't done it. Um, I actually, I have not done that cheesecake since I shared it with you guys. It was, it was delicious. But um, I figured today I bring you guys uh, my plan that I, I have never shared with you. So. Make sure you got that nice and tight. Like I said, remember guys, preheat your oven. Sorry, I gotta bring you guys down. Make sure you got your oven preheated. You're going to put this in the oven. And you're going to add hot water, not cold water guys. You gotta add hot water. And you're going to fill up the pan into halfway. There we go. All right. You're going to bake it for. You're going to bake it for one hour and fifteen minutes. All right. It, or into is uh, jiggly, but one hour and 15 minutes should be good. Or one hour. And see, my oven, 
uh, the temperature is lower on this oven than a regular oven. This oven does not have a fan to spread the, the temperature. You, if you oven have a fan to spend the, you know, the, the heat in it, it will be a less cooking time. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys. So you have that type of oven, you're going to put your temperature at 325. I got mine at 350 for that reason. To make sure I keep I keep the temperature on um, there. So now, guys, I'm gonna bring you back when it's done. Okay. All right, guys. I took the aluminum foil off. Now it's time to take it out of the oven. And when you guys do, do it carefully because you know the water very hot you don't want to get burned so i'm gonna take the plant out first put it here and then i will get rid of the water so guys what you guys are going to do i'm going to leave you a photo in my thumbnail you're going to see my thumbnail what does it looks like because now that you took it out of the oven as you guys can see i just took it out this is what it looks like so now this have to cool down and when it cool down it'll firm so once it cool down i will flip it over on the tray and i will leave you a nice photo on the thumbnail so guys, I'm going to leave it like I always say, be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile overall, stay safe, stay healthy. And remember guys, God loves you and Debbie also loves you too. It will be into the next one. But let me bring you guys close. So hold on. Um, that's what it looks like the bubbles doesn't face me because that's going to be looking down all right guys bye bye